In this video, you will learn how to customize your library. Now, in the Manage tab, under Hosted Libraries, with your library selected from this list, we'll go to the Customize uh, item in the sub-menu, and it will show you a preview of your library app here. Okay. Now, from the left, you have some customization controls for the design and for for the functionality so you have different components to choose from now it's similar for the customization when you're customizing uh, an ebook app from the customize uh, uh, section at the top it's pretty much the same but there are some extra options that we we can uh, talk about so you have an option here called search library and this will give you a uh, a uh, search button if you look here at the top right you have a search button where you can search throughout uh, all the different titles in the in the library so this will uh, toggle uh, this option on and off you also have display categories now you have the categories here right if you remember we created our first category children's storybooks now if we uh, if we disable this then we will still have uh, you see it went away but but this does not mean that there are no categories anymore. There are categories, but the user will not be able to explicitly uh, select the categories or even know the names of the categories. Now, what, uh, what good does this do to us? Well, basically, you're using categories as folders. And think of it as user permissions. So you want to have different uh, permissions for different, uh, for different users, but not have it specific to each book, or, or otherwise it's going to be tedious. Right, so you have 20 books under a certain uh, category, say level 1, and uh, 20 books under level 2, and so on. So categories will help you just organize them uh, like you're uh, organizing files in a folder. And then you can assign permission, uh, user permissions to level 1 and level 2, and so on. Of course, the user will never know that there's such a thing as level 1 and level 2, and so on.